Now I've got a whole bunch of shit going on. I got a clothing brand I'm trying to represent. Real dreams live forever. And just ready to go. It's been about three years now. 2020 was when we started. And it's going pretty good. 2020, man. I lost my my brother, basically, one of my best friends. And then I just, it was just time. It was just, it clicked in. It was just about that time to focus up. Clothing is just the base I'm setting for this brand. But yeah, I'm trying to level it up to everything. But yeah, clothing is the start the base for sure and i like fashion and everything so i thought why not start i have a graphic designers i also have uh, the shop downtown that i do printing and embroidery and everything so the experience i've been hearing hearing the bro all the time and last year i actually missed the pop-up that he was doing so i was kind of i was like this time i have to make it i have to make it so i'm gonna pull up and show up and show out yeah what do you want to say to mom? All right, mom, I love you and God bless. My name is Tucano Salat, and uh, I guess right now I'm an uh, entrepreneur, uh, small business owner of Tucano Shredders. Um, you may, may have seen me around Denver doing events <laughs> and stuff. Um, so now we're um, getting ready to do this fashion show um, and um, and launch soon. So yeah, no, this is gonna be the third one. So this year, so we started in May. Um, we started with the lavish uh, lavish fa uh, fashion show, and then just recently we did a, a fashion show at Boy Studios. So yeah. Um, I think just a, a, a lot of things to be honest um so just growing up like i grew up just kind of like exploring you know what i liked and stuff like that mm. and i think just i started you know dancing and then i started messing around with uh, fashion design um and i did a couple of well i did an internship in high school and that's actually what got me into it um okay. and then kind of like before that middle school I was doing like jewelry as well and so I think like all of that just is kind of the reason why I started um but I guess just with waist beads I think um my passion for like women empowerment and also like just embracing your body and just embracing your naturally you is also like a message that I want to spread with what I'm doing so. so I think for me I've always um I always with my style I always try to like be confident whatever I show up in <laughs> if I'm not if, if I don't feel like it's me in terms of like being I can be natural and I can be comfortable uh, with whoever I'm interacting with or whatever environment I'm in um, I think that's like what's most important about fashion however you show up is kind of like how you should just I don't know not represent but like you should be who you want to be and who you are yeah. yeah so i don't like anything that's like uncomfortable or like i don't know i mean if i'm gonna rock it and i'm I, it's the vibe i want to it's the vibe i, I want to go for then that's what it is i guess bringing something unique i kind of want to bring back that kind of like feel good vibe of it okay. um something can look really good and fashionable but also it can be really comfortable um, so I started doing mostly uh, women, um, and I am doing that right now. So mostly focus on women, just because you know it's you know like what I'm used to, I'm kind of like you know what I I can relate to. Um, a couple of my um, male customers have bought for me and supported me, awesome. and I really want to get into that. And I think um, that might be the next stage i mean the next step here soon so, so right now i do have um, my bracelets a lot of my products actually are um, I, I try to make them so you can wear them um different well you can they're versatile mm. um and so you can wear them as like body chains or necklaces um so you you men can actually you know buy from me and support me you know yeah. it just depends on what kind of style you're going for um i've made some products where it has like just different um elements to it that would work for both the uh, women and men so and i also have bracelets and necklaces so <laughs> yeah. i am a, a little bit nervous just because i'm well i have a big surprise i'm gonna try well i'm gonna do a pre-launch 
you guys today and kind of see how my website i'm really looking for that feedback aspect of it um so i'm really excited and ev everyone has known i've been you know promoting that there's a website coming out it's just kind of been nerve-wracking just kind of to figure out exactly when you can't ever be you know ready set go by the way but um i think i've taken enough time it needs to get out so <laughs> connell's treasures so you can find me at two connell's treasures that's that's uh t-u-k-a-n-o-s treasures so dot com <laughs>I design clothes. I pretty much um, repurpose, reuse clothes, um, and just repurpose it. You know, make it make a different style out of it. Or... Um, at the moment, I have a brand. <laughs> I'm not sure yet how I'm going with that. I don't know. I've always kind of liked fashion, um, but like starting to design, I guess what I got what got me into that was my mom. Your mom. My mom. It kind of comes from generational um, sewing and learning how to create clothes from scratch. Um, so she just pretty much teach me a lot of things. So I learned a lot of things from her. Um, and then from there, I kind of decided after school, after high school, um, go to college for fashion, merchandising, and retail. And then just recently graduated from that. So, yeah, I actually am. Um, I've done a couple of uh, outfits before and kind of you know, try to sell them. Um, yeah. <laughs> but it's okay. Um, you know, just testing the water, seeing how everything learning kind of how this goes. Um this is my first runway show, so kinda excited. My first modeling. Uh, I believe it's important to try everything out so you kinda know how things go. So yeah, how it works exactly. Definitely. Um, so me and Nate work together. Uh, right now we currently both work for Sorry. all my sons. Um, it's like a moving company. Um, I'm pretty much like the hiring manager there, and he's one of like our drivers. So we just kind of started talking. Um, he told me that he would do shows like this, and I told him I kind of do. Fa uh, well, I design clothes, so he just asked me if I wanted to. Um, I would be interested in you know being in one of his shows. So that's how. This <laughs> this came together. <laughs> nice. I was already kind of like doing clothes, but cut. Kind of yeah, 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 yeah. Making it. No, I understand. Um, I used to. I dabbed into fashion too, but at the end of senior year, I literally a whole internship yeah and i created some pieces and then i had a art artist you know when we're in our heads yeah so that was me and then so i ripped everything apart <laughs> and then gave away a couple of my sewing machines at three i have one now that Lord. stuck with me yeah. so i'm like oh my god yeah yeah <laughs> you stuck with it which is good i get you though right now, <laughs> right now, yeah. Seriously. But like, like i have like actually Oh, yeah. you're, you're doing good right now. I know my boyfriend has to tell me that all the time. Yeah. But you're doing good. <laughs> yeah. We need to hear it so sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Just like, no, nah, it's not. <laughs> I kept saying, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. He was like, you know what you're doing. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. So, Red driver. <laughs> Awesome, this is the crew. This is Michael. Michael, this is Albie. Um, thank you. Yeah, we're, we're, we'll take a look. Uh, we got hands. Yeah. 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 Holding on, holding on, holding on, holding on to what's from behind me for so long. Yeah, so that, that was the number. So yeah, if you want to give him a call, just kind of be in touch with everything. Yeah, I'm done. I gotta see what I got. So how's it going? My name is Caleb Keo, founder of Wallet Guide, an awesome app that helps young professionals customize their financial journey, their financial life, and you know I'm excited for this uh, event. Nate, Nate's the guy. So for me, it's always great when I'm when I have that opportunity to come support him. 
And uh, yeah, it looks like he's going all out this time. So it's going to be epic. <laughs> yeah, so man, Walla Guide, it's, I, I think it's a revolutionary app for sure. I know when it comes to tech, a lot of people like to, they like to throw around that word revolutionary. But, <laughs> you know, truly, I, I love what we're doing because we're in the finance space. And we, I, I think we're one of the first apps to really help young professionals be empowered financially. And I think we do that in a way where we are pairing up folks that are looking to customize their life financially to financial coaches in the area. So, I mean, I don't, I don't think there's anything like that in the market right now. So that's, that's, that's really cool what we're doing. And I'm excited to, you know, be one of the pioneers in, in, in the space in, in terms of financial uh, matchmaking. So, I mean, we are a startup. So, I mean, I've gone through my, my journey, my ups and downs, my co-founder journey and uh, having a different co-founders and, and, and a group of two to three to four, and then back to, to just one. And so right now it's actually back to me. So I'm, I'm, I'm back on that solo journey, which is great. Actually, I wouldn't say I prefer the solo journey, but there's pros and cons to having a team. I'll, I'll say when you have a team, you, you know, it's not like what you, what you want to call it. It's not, you can't, um just make that decision and move you kind of have to you know it's by committee but when it is a solo thing now i have interns that works with me which is great um but at the end of the day when it's solo you can just like execute a lot quicker so i actually enjoy the solo journey right now what got you for into now make what got me into making apps oh man like you know, I, I didn't know apps was going to be the journey I was going to take. I'm, I'm by no means a engineer. I'm actually what you call a non-technical founder. So uh, I'll tell you, it's really more so what got me into trying to solve problems because <laughs> that's what entrepreneurs do. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, what got me into making apps, it's more so just being able to look into the industry and, and see a whole um, problem space in, in the fintech space, in the financial management space, and, and understand that I could potentially have a solution for it. And, you know, because my background is in finance, and, as, and I'm also, a, I'll, how you wanna call it? I basically, I love technology, although I'm not a technologist myself, and I was like, look, I mean, there's, uh, in fact, some folks, they call me the black Steve Jobs <laughs> just because cause I, 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 I have the vision of like technology of where it's going and I have the understanding and, and, um, but I'm not the engineer. So, you know, Steve Jobs had to have Steve Wozniak, um, you know, to help him on the engineering side. So. You know, I'm, I'm still looking for my C. Wozniak, <laughs> for sure. But, yeah, I, I have, I've always wanted to solve a lot of problems. And as a result, especially in our era, you know, if you want to solve problems on a, on a scale, um, you know, basis, apps are generally the way to do it. What's up? What's up? Hi again, why not? <laughs> good to see you. Good, good. We got the whole. My name is Trinity Sierra. Um, I'm an artist, I'm a Christian artist. I um, recently decided to switch my platform over to glorify the Lord, and that's just because of the changes that the Lord has made in my life. I love to write poetry, so my style is more of like a poetic type. I like instrumental, um, like trap type beats, you know, soul trap, trap soul type beats, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I really just love to make music to glorify the Lord and just spread music that is music that can touch the soul and reach the people who you know are in dark places or came from a dark place i like to just be a light so 
Yes. So, um, really only like a year and a half. Um, this is my first little like real show, I guess. I did a little show in the past. It was just a little tiny show. It was so much fun. But that was in my secular days. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like a year and a half. And honestly, I do it, like I said, for fun, but also to glorify the Lord. And, you know, if he wants to take me somewhere with it, hey, I'm all for it, you know? So I really, I was working on a EP. Um, and I, not that I'm not anymore, but I didn't have enough time to finish it the way I wanted to before this show. Um, so I'm trying to decide if I want to drop it, you know, singles or if I still want to go ahead and, um, drop an EP or if I'm like, I could get a few more songs cause I got like eight, you know, songs. So I'm like, get a few more songs and just drop an album. So, yeah. So I am really excited to bring a different type of um because I'm 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 not sure you know what other artists we have but there's not very many um Christian artists that I have came across in Denver myself I could be wrong um but I'm just excited to kind of bring a little bit of church and it's like people are gonna be a little you know co like not confused but like thrown off like oh okay like you know, glorifying the Lord, but still music that you can like vibe with. And like, so I'm, I'm trying to just bring a little bit of like, a little bit of church in that atmosphere, you know, like I'm really excited for that. And I'm really excited to just see all of the models and the other artists. I heard we had like a violinist coming. I'm like, I'm so excited for that. So I'm really just excited. Uh, I love to be in a collective with creative people and like my, and so I'm just excited for the whole experience, honestly. So I actually met Nate and Caleb earlier this year at a um, event called Aspire. Aspire. It was a business conference. And me being the talkative person I am, and I'm sure like we're all just very friendly and talkative. And we ended up just uh, talking and then we talked more. And like we figured out that I figured out that Nate, you know, he works with, um, doing shows and helping to set up these type of things so and I let him know like hey like can I make music too a little bit like do it really just for fun and then I got a call a little bit later and he was like hey you wanna do a show I'm like sure why not <laughs> <laughs> Holding on, holding on, to what's from behind.